So pale. Well, what's up, folks? Welcome back to Bar 17 of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I mean, look at that child. She needs some sunlight. Jeez. Uh, last time, we said we are going to eat some of Aerith's mom's cooking. This time, I think we'll get to do that. Probably. If these long, narrow hallways... I mean, look. Nobody was critiquing the long, narrow hallways in this game. Like, it's the same as Final Fantasy VII, uh, 13. It's the same as that thing. Come on now. Piece of cake. All right, Gorgers, uh, he's bound, he's dead. Uh, and let's show off Soul Drain. Yeah, kind of nice. I do like when they give these more frail characters um, moves that allow them to regain health. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get back to the capture. There we go. Yeah, when they give these frail characters abilities to let them regain health, because it's like, you know they're going to need it. So just hook them up. Just help them out. Is this for an item or is this for... Oh, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna come back here later. Oh yeah, this is a... Uh, definitely pretty interesting. Not interesting area, but kind of cool. I mean, even something like this. It's not that out of the ordinary. Because like everything here is junk. But it's like clearly someone put a little bit more time putting this stuff together. It's just kind of nice that they bothered to... Uh, do that for areas that become story relevant. I mean, I guess they all... Most games do that, but... I don't know, it's just kind of nice. Alright, back down the stairs. And that's the other thing, like, this game, uh, at least this section of the game, it does open up quite a bit in terms of exploration. And, you know, giving you the opportunity to go back and forth between areas later in the game. And so because of that, I think it's kind of nice that, you know, when you... Oh, yeah, are these, like... Oh, they're like Warmax. They're like... People could hop in them junk, sit in that junk. And control them because look, they got the goggles, they have the little foot pedestals. That's kind of cool. <gasps> oh, they're all right. This is crazy. These are definitely prototypes for a later enemy. That's crazy. I never noticed that. All right, running, 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 and open. Uh, thank you. I love how those are like electrically powered. Maybe they're magnets, I don't know. But it's just so stupid. Oh, small green. Uh, that's not who I was thinking of. There's like a bigger version of this guy. But that kind of looks like. Um, I believe this dude's weak to electricity. Uh, let's see. And Arcane Ward. Oh, she's poisoned. Uh, electricity, yep. Haywire Haze makes it such a little staggering. That's fine. He'll do like a charge attack with Haywire Haze. Uh, but let me show off. Here we go. Arcane Ward and... Thunder. Oh god. One, two. And as I mentioned, you do that at a deuced cost. Uh, so you can use those attacks. I think the first one does like the regular damage or regular MP. It costs a regular MP amount. The second one costs uh, like one MP. At least for like the base level spells. That door that was stuck. Maybe it opens from this side? As a matter of fact, it does. Thank you. So, we will come back to this area later. Um, there's a couple side quests. I think like six side quests you can do in this area. So, other thing to note about those smoggers, you can beat them and then they, they will explode. So, keep an eye out for that. Don't think it'll open. Saka. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? All right, so they definitely want me to go up to that ladder, so let me go up this ladder first and push this over here. Make yourself a little platform. All right, my dude could definitely jump from this. If you can jump from all the other things you can jump off of in this game, he doesn't have to use that ladder to get down. Like even here, it looks like somebody's definitely home. Like somebody definitely lives there. It's crazy. Okay, and... Oh, here I was thinking he was going to jump. Nope, you got to do the monkey bars here. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about games that have these types of interactive sections. Like, visually, they're more interesting than just running and doing stuff. Especially looking back at, like, old-school RPGs and how like the sprite based ones that they couldn't really illustrate anything like that or at least not that well because everything was so limited but um 
now it's just kind of interesting because I don't really have. It's like we don't really need to need to have those sections, but they're somewhat more interesting than just walking everywhere. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? Echo Mist. Right hmm? And we'll come back to this area later. The uh, cemetery, but you need a key to get in. I'm not even ready to do side quests. I, uh, the side quests here, they're not too bad. There's another searching side quest. You have to search for some things. Kind of like the cats when you were in Sector 7. Uh, can I go in? Oh, no, it's not a tunnel. I do like that they have all this debris that you can kind of run through and knock over. Yes. Nothing? Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the turks. Don't forget about my money. Could come out. Uh oh, That's we could time. go back. So this is the way back to the station. Keep an eye out. And we're not gonna go that way. Oh, you were at the station. So do you think this means another world's coming? All right, I love that even though these are just like crazy slums, you know Shinra definitely just brought and installed like a, a flat screen up there for the town to watch. Oh, it's a little black girl. That's crazy. You never see black kids in Final Fantasy. She got the braids and everything. This game is just a bastion of equality. I love it. Oh, is this the cutscene that introduces a uh, Miss Fan Art? I'm just, oh yeah, there you go. I'm assuming it's a bunch of fan art. Though. I'm assuming. Would you mind answering a few questions? Hey, enough of that doom and gloom. I don't remember her from the first game, honestly. Was she in the first? She was definitely in the first game. Jeez. Has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. There, I'm just thinking... She definitely just knocked over the cameraman, and he held the camera, like, on his shoulder. He just kept holding it. Let's go. Uh, we will go, but I do want to... Can I rest? Can I rest? Please let me rest. Please, please let me... Aw, oh, screw you, buddy. I do like that because this is Sector 5, they have all these things like Fifth Cafe. I mean, they play up the names. Same way we have Seventh Heaven. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. Look at that fade. What do you say? I'd love to. What's that slum fade? Uh, let me run. Let me. Let me. I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris. Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Oh, there he is. I was like, I know he's on the left. Look at the girls, they're performing. That's just Who's great. This guy? They're this gonna fall and break He's their necks. Come on now. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. Oats. Where's See? Hall? Where is Hall? Two peas in a pod. Uh, can we go a little bit faster? No, I'm just destined to walk at this speed. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. 
Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. Herbs. Helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. I wonder what when we'll get to the point of games where so like generous. you can control the eye movements for each uh for your characters because I'm like in cutscenes that would add to the, the immersion for sure like if I can control where Cloud's there looking that'd be crazy and we brought Aerith with us God that hair sounds like come out here. a decade too late it's on my way home well then I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers no problem how many all you can carry what with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news oh, she's just low-key wearing that war propaganda everyone up. that's great i'm sure they will and i'd love to help let's all wash up before our meal i think there's an item in here can i go in here <gasps> i can are they actually washing up no they're just gonna uh, of course they don't have running water oh it's a little chubby kid Chocobo and Mog and Cactar and Tonberry. Keep Tonberry in mind for li Oh, there's a sink. Look at them. I wonder if they have the filters. Yeah, they don't mention that. If uh, these kids have, if they like have the smelly water like we have. Oh, what month is it? Huh. I love how they just put like the random mathematical symbols everywhere. So it's Thanks me. so much, Aerith. No, I'm not Aerith. That's that's Aerith over there. What are you talking about, lady? So, oh, I do this every time. You can't go up that flower? way. They're all the same to me. Huh. I'll even have sure running water outside. Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I uh. You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. God, he's such a bad liar. What? Thought you didn't like lying. Well, anyway. Uh, can I run too? Thank you. I just love the lighting here. Uh, the fact that it changes so much is so nice. Definitely got some Last of Us vibes going on. Which, I didn't get that game. Not a fan of stealth. But you know this by now. So I'll introduce you. Even mild stealth gameplay. It's not a fan. Doesn't do anything for me. Doesn't take me anywhere. Oh, but this is it. Like, how did she luck out and get this house? There you go. Like That's everybody lives house. in the slums. That's amazing. <laughs> and you get to live here in this little oasis with a waterfall. Very own private gardens. That's right, I said gardens. There's multiple. Baby, been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. 
You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. Alrighty, I could talk to Amara a little bit. She's a handful, isn't she? Like this is a really nice house, though. I mean, considering what all the other slum res residents are like, they have a microwave, pots and pans hanging from the cabinets, uh, a sink, a pumpkin. What are those things? I don't even know what those are. They have a TV set, like in the wall. In oh wait, is it? No, no, it's just a tube TV. Never mind. Crystals. Like it's just so cool. I mean, it's such a great. Oh, they took a picture of the. Uh thing of the waterfall that's kind of neat uh, it's awesome eh? it must be tough no never mind hmm 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 hmm, hmm. hmm. all right uh, can I go upstairs like she just lifts the fool with a big honking sword run up into her, uh, her upstairs you can go out here uh, is this not no it's not Eric's room is she up here no I think she is she up? I don't even know I think her room's downstairs oh. but uh, where'd she go is she out there? Oh, you're- wait, uh, uh. Oh no, she's in her room. But kinda cool, they have this little terrace thing. Pam Beasley would love this house. Uh, second floor, here we go. Oh my god, this reminds me. There's a, uh... Oh god, I hate that, it's so stupid. Anyway, alright, let's go back downstairs. I don't think I can do anything. I, I got so confused the first time I played this too. There we go. You take this one. Take it. Right. Off we go. And these right here are my babies. It's so gorgeous. This reminds me of like getting to the Sunleth Waterscape the first time in Final Fantasy XIII. It's just so, so lush, so green. So fresh and so clean. Outcast. <laughs> Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Okay, you can choose flowers. Uh, I don't know if there's like a difference. To declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, I mean, they're right? all kind of low, low quality flowers. Can we take these we ones? Yeah. Then I think Which you have to go up best? to the tippy tippy. That's the one I gave you. Huh? It is. Nice try, Mister. You can't fool me. I'm the gingerbread man. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe oh, a few more? Cattails. Foxtails, Fox tails, huh? same I thing. I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. And more? I think we're good now. Oh no, I say? thought there's isn't there materia up here? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Will it let me go this way? <gasps> you could have gone this way. I think there's materia up here. Maybe it's here later. Uh, oh yeah, it's later. You can get like a purple. Oh, where'd you come from, girly? Like, they got street lamps here. Like, so great. This is a place stuck in time. Can I just jump down? No, of course not. Might spill the flowers. Uh, you can't see the foxtails in... in their little... baskets. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, um... Yeah, I think you come back here later, you can get a materia of sorts. So, kind of nice. I didn't realize I took the map off this whole time. Like, it's just such a... Such a quaint area. You don't even need a map. No need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I mean, I'm not trying to have a 35 minute part because we're walking. You'll be drowning in job offers. So... How do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, well, of course. We'll <laughs> it's like you could boil down Cloud's responses to uh to like three phrases easily. Yeah. Don't know. 
Uh, no. <laughs> she got a fanny pack. That's what she said. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? <sighs> okay, and we will check out the town. Uh, Hello. I, hope you I do like this music track here. I'm, I don't know the name of it. Um, it's kind of it has a sense of like. It's like I don't know if you call it forlorn. It's like the sense of longing that you that you had. All oh, the kids, where are they running? Are they running to me? No, they just start tripping on me. It's like a United Nations of children. Holy crap! Um, yeah, there's definitely like a sense of longing in this song. Truth be told, it's really just a place for us old folks to. God, that kid's so small. All right, one of my favorite things about this is you can come in here. Get yourself a song, Tango of Tears, but then you can also change the song, and I'm a fan. <laughs> the old folks home just turn up that hip hop to Chocobo. Looks like I hear dozing off. You got Stan Lee over here dozing off. That hip hop just banging in the background. Uh, vial of Celeris. What does that do? Equipment, uh, inventory. Here we go. Hastens? Oh, haste. That's cool. I don't think I ever use that in my main playthrough. Like, you get the haste, time, whatever it is material. And that's, uh, kind of useful, but yeah, I don't think I actually ever used. Dude, what is that guy doing? I love how, like, the big kid always has to be the, the powerhouse, that workhorse. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get a move on. We're gonna head, oh, what are you squatting for, lass? So that heals down. Uh, where are we headed? We are headed... Oh, there's a weapon shop? Let me check that out. Uh, Oats. I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. It's just dips, like... <laughs> no, we're not gonna say thanks for telling me, buddy. It's like, no. Give me that item. What do we got? Uh, 200 gil. Alright, I think Chadley, yeah, he should be around this corner, but first let me buy this song. There's oh, is this Costa del Sol? This it is. I love this song. That Bossa Nova. Come like, Bossa Nova's underrated. Cloud, I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my. No, so, uh, we did do another. Battle until we have to stagger two more enemies to be able to... <gasps> get this, get this, get this. This is good. Um... Cloud, oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Cloud, Here we go. Another news. another material. It's another summon material. Oh, first summon material. Thought impossible. Scientists say that this material can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Alrighty, so Chadley can create summon material, and he will do that throughout the game as you help him. Let me heal up a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna try it. I did, funny thing is, I did beat this my first time, Solo Cloud. Uh, it took me like five tries. I'm gonna try it once. If I don't get it, it's fine because you don't get anything for doing it early. Uh, can we skip? Can we? Oh my god, you gotta watch all these pop on screen. Uh, Shiva, though, she is kind of tough. Um, oh, what new material? Steel material? Oh, get that. I don't find myself using steel that often. Uh, Provoke's pretty good, though. Eh, that's fine. All right, let me go in here. Light, ice, get rid of ice. Uh, let's do, where's fire? Oh, actually let's do this. Um, get rid of assess for now. We're gonna put up elemental and then do 
fire. As a matter of fact, I don't even need lightning right now, so we'll just do. Or is this? Uh, actually, let's go magic up. All right, so we'll try this. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information. So you go VR missions. If you defeat Shiva, you get Shiva. And uh, that's and what we're I gonna try. You to ready your portable battle simulator. It's PBS, portable battle simulator, just like the uh, television thing. Oh god! All right. So Shiva's a giant. Shiva will kill you. Um, all right. I should back, 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 back. All right. Just keep thrusting. And dodge. Oh, piss. All right, that's fine. No, I'm definitely gonna screw this up. Heavenly Strike. That's an icicle from the top. That's that's an icicle from above. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's half. Let's. I'm down to like 800 health. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. All right, cool. Just run past that. Let's cure up. Let's try that again. Yeah, you can see like just by how little. Oh, what? Alright, cool. Blizzard, you can dodge pretty easily. I don't. I couldn't see the last attack she did. Oh, God, get back. Alright, and focus thrust. I missed. If you can stagger her, you can do a decent amount of damage. If I can get Ifrit up in here, maybe that would help too, but, uh. All right, what do you got here? What do you got here? Do a little ice skating thing. Probably helps the guard a little bit. That's that's good. White out. I don't know how to dodge that. I used to be able to dodge that. I don't think you can mash out of that. Oh, I'm down to like 500 health. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. That's big oof, that's big oof. Uh, let's do a high potion. I wonder how much limit does here, because... Right, can we, like, get a little bit of stagger going? Right, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, the little trail hurts you, and I'm slowed. Now I'm slowed. Uh, let's just use the high potion. If I used fire, probably would have done way more damage. Oh, dodge it! Yeah, so you can dodge out of it even if it hits you, which is like the beauty of that move. All right, fire! All right, cool. Pressure, 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 pressure. All right, cool. Now we have limit. So, uh, yeah, why not? Let's just use Limit and see what happens. Cross Lash, Shiva, Staggered. It's not even like half. I got her like maybe half. That's crazy. Cross Familiars? Alright, so these guys will, uh... She will chuck them at you, and it's a whole thing. I don't know how that... I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. Give me, can I get effort? Can I, can I get effort, please? Can I get effort? All right, let's summon the fool. He, he has fire elemental, so that should help. Maybe I can get her. I might go get her this time. Like one more stagger, but I have to heal. I'm prioritizing heal first. Oh, white out? No, I'm not living through white out again. Uh, items. Uh, let's actually do a cura. All right, cool. Oof. Oof. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's hit her with uh, Fear, why not? How much damage? That does a lot, that does a lot. All right, we might be able to get this time, actually. All right, Frost Removers, get back. Oh, snap, that, I think I broke her Frost Removers. All right, I need to hit her with another fire. If I had another limit, I could probably get her. 
Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to. Oh no! Okay. Dude, help me, dude! Ifrit, help me! Oh, I missed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, hit her with a fire. Nice. All right. If we just like body this chick, please. All right, cool. If I had timed that better, I probably could have been her here because I would have, uh, I would have limit. It would just work. Oh, nice. How much damage? Like fourteen hundred, seventeen hundred. I don't even know what I said. Fifty-four hundred. See you soon. And got her. Nice. That was so. Alright, I'm so glad I finished on that. You can do it by yourself. You, you can do it. It's not. See, I'm, I don't suck at this game. The Shiva summoning materia is complete, and now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. Thank you, Chadley. Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. Awesome. All right, so now we have Shiva. To receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. And let me equip that right now. Uh, Shiva, and then Aerith will give her Ifrit. And uh, let me, I'll just rearrange my setup here because I'm already here. Uh, what was it? Assess. And then I'll leave magic up for now. Fire, what does she have? She has lightning. Ice? Alright, yeah, I think we're good for now. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode of Final Fantasy Thirteen. Or, nope, Final Fantasy Seven Remake. Next time we'll come back, uh, go wherever that exclamation point marker is sending us, and uh, see what lies in store for Cloud and the people staring at the reactor fire. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.